Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade five in module two in lesson number 22, we are doing more division. Tonight we are dividing three and four digit dividends by two digit divisors, resulting in our quotients and our remainders. And we are reasoning about the decomposition of remainders as we work, work through these problems. So tonight I'm gonna to do a couple of problems that will hopefully get you going on your homework and will hopefully give you some examples of how we do um, sort of standard algorithm division. Let's take a look at one of our problems. Problem number one. I'm going to do two of the, four, of the um, six or seven parts of this problem. Uh, let's see. Number one, the directions are divide. Then check using multiplication. The first one is done for you. You'll notice here that we do not have to provide, if we don't want to, um, a, uh, an estimate. So let's go ahead and set up problem number 1C together. Let's see. The whole in this problem is 700. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up in our normal way. Uh, Got to get a thicker pen here. Uh, let's see. There, yeah, that's better. We'll set up 700 there. And let's see, what's our divisor? Our divisor is 21. So I'm going to put that over here. And then we're just going to move, right, place value by place value and see how we can do our division. So our first question is, do we have enough hundreds to make into groups of 21? And I see pretty clearly that I only have seven hundreds, and I cannot make any groups of 21 out of seven hundreds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decompose those into tens, and I'm going to consider these numbers together. I'm going to say this is now 70 tens, because 70 tens gives me enough tens to start dividing up into groups of 21. In fact, I think I can get, if I just quickly estimate, it seems like I could get maybe three groups of 21 out of that. Let's see. 3 times 20 would be 60. Yeah, I think I can do that. So I'm going to guess here that I can get three groups of 21. And remember, this is three tens, right? Three tens. Three tens times 21, let's see, that would be 63 tens. So we'd put that here, 63 tens. Excellent. So we've got 21 times 3, we've used up 63 of our 70 tens. And so when we do that subtraction, let's see, 70 minus 63, we would get, let's see, we need to decompose one of those hundreds into tens. 10 minus 3 is 7. Oh, okay, and 6 minus 6 is 0. Awesome, we end up with 7 tens left over. So are we done? Well, not yet, right? We still have some ones to deal with, right? And while we don't have enough tens to make into groups of 21 any longer, we do, if we consider those to be ones, if we consider those to be 70 ones, right? By bringing down our 0 here. If we consider those to be 71s, we would be able to make 71s into groups of 21. Let's see. Uh, well, we just did this problem, right? It was 3. Let's see. We were able to get 3 groups of 21. 3 groups of 21. Again, now we're using the 1s unit here because we're talking about 1s down here, just as we use the 10s unit up here when we were talking about 70 10s. So let's see. 3 groups of 21. I already know what that is. That's 63. So we've used up 63 1s. And that means that we have seven left over. Now, a last question to ask here, when we get what is our apparent remainder is, can we make another group of 21? And the answer is clearly no, right? We don't have enough. And so we're able to say that our quotient is 33 and our remainder is seven. Now we move over to the right-hand side. I'm gonna to switch to red because we're gonna double check our work. We are gonna first multiply, right? We're gonna multiply our 33 times 21. Right, we're going to multiply our quotient times our divisor. Let's see, we can do that quickly. Let's see, 1 times 3 ones is 3 ones. 1 times 3 tens is 3 tens. And let's see, 2 tens times 3 ones would be 6 tens. We'd write that here, 6 tens. And then 2 times 3 would be 6, 6 hundreds. So we need to go ahead and add those together, and that would be 3, 9, 6. Okay, oh right, but I have my remainder, right? I always have to add in my remainder. So my last step is to take my product there and to add back in my remainder. And let's see, that's 3 plus 7 is 10. We record that like that. 9 plus 1 is 10 more. Record it like that. And then 6 plus 1 is 7. And there we go, right? We got our whole 700, just like it was in the beginning. And I'm going to write my little double check. That's how I do it in my class, that we've double checked our answer. We know that 700 divided by 21 is, gives us a quotient of 33. We can make 33 groups of 21, and we would have a remainder of 7. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more problem for tonight's homework. The directions are going to be the same same directions as in number one for C. So we just need to go ahead and do our setup here. Let's see, we've got a whole of 908, 
and we've got a divisor of 56. So we're going to start with our biggest unit, and again, we have that same issue, right? We clearly do not have enough hundreds to make groups of 56. Awesome. So I'm going to then think about them as 10, so 90 tens. So if we had 90 tens, how many groups of 56 could we make? Well, we could make, I think, one group of 10, right? One, I'm sorry, one group of 56. You could put one in there. Let's see. So that would use up 56 of our 90. So 56 of our 90. That's multiplying 1 times 56 to tell us that we're going to use 56 tens up. And we can do that subtraction. Let's see. We need to decompose that into 8 hundreds, making 10 tens. And then we can say 10 minus 6 is 4 tens. And 8 minus 5 is 3 tens. I'm going to do a quick check. Were we, should we have made another group of 56? No, nope, we don't have enough, right? We only have 34. So rather than thinking about this as 34 tens, I want to bring down my ones like that, right? And that gives me 348 ones to divide by 56. Now, here we're going to have to figure out how many, how many groups of 56 could we make out of 348. Now, one thing we could do is we could estimate, right? We could say, well, this is about 50. And this is about 350, so I think we could make maybe that would be seven groups. But I'm noticing something, which is that we estimated this way down from 56 down to 50. And I don't think that's going to work. Now, I'm not going to do that for you, but um, if we were to estimate this as 60, we would never think that we could fit seven of them in here. We would think it would be more like five. So I don't know. I'm going to split the difference and say I think we can maybe fit six groups of 56. We can make six groups of 56 out of this, out of 348. Let's see if that works. Let's see, 6 times 6 is 36. That's a th 6 goes here, and a 3 we'll put there. Then I have 6 times 5 tens is 30 tens, plus 3 more is 33 tens. And hey, that worked out pretty well. It looks like we used up just the right amount. In fact, we can do the subtraction. 8 ones minus 6 ones is 2 ones. 4 minus 3 is 1. And 3 minus 3 is 0. And... Uh, we ask again, is this our remainder? This looks like our remainder. W we, could we have made another group of 56? Clearly not, right? We only have 12. And so that gives us what we think is our answer, which is a quotient of 16 and a remainder of 12. But I'm going to switch to red and say we need to do our check, right? We need to multiply our divisor times our, our um, quotient. We need to multiply those two together, and then we'll add back in our uh, remainder over here and see if we get back to our whole. So let's see. 56 times 6. Uh, let's see, 6 times 6 is 36. So that we would record like that. Let's see, 6 times 5 is 30, plus 3 more is 33. So there we go, there's 300. Oh, how, how, did, I switch, how did I switch colors? 33, there we go, that's better. And let's see, now we switch over to our second partial products. 110 times 6 ones is 6 tens. There we go. And 1 times 5 is 5 hundreds. So we need to go ahead and add our two partial products together. 6 plus 0 is 6. 9 plus 3 is 9. And 3 plus 5 is 8. And now we have to add back in our remainder. So that's 12. And we'll see how we do. Let's see. 6 plus 2 is 8. 9 plus 1 is 10. We record it like that. And 8 plus 1 is 9. And hey, 908 is our whole, and sure enough, that's exactly what our whole was. I'm going to write a double check there, and I think we're done. So thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Good luck on your homework. Take care.